cool. She just got home and she wanted me, well, she wanted to show everybody that the elves came. The elves on came. On the show. The elf on the show. Who? Selena and Shabu. Okay. And what and else? And they wrote their note and they brought this with them. Yeah, the book always comes back. And the book is for you to read. So then now, Elisa is going to, she wrote her Santa letter yesterday about her using, thank you for supporting small business. <laughs> and she says that she's gonna put it up there, that way they can take it to Santa Claus. Woohoo! Alrighty. So then she sealed it up and everything. Okay. So that was her excitement. And this is day one of Christmas. Nah, it's not Christmas. <laughs> day one of December. Yeah? <laughs> but what else is it? What do we do every day on December? Every single day we record. So it's day one of Down like that. Is it's it a day? countdown to Christmas, so you do day one. Like today's day one. Okay. And it's the Jeffender, the December first. Yeah, December first. Oh, cute. The angel or cute. elf, just the best angel. That is super cute. Day two now. No, I'm okay, day two. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of Vlogmas. Today you are cooking with me. So let's get this party started. We have pork meat I just showed you right now, but of course I was already talking and I am not getting with the program. Not me, still trying to figure out how you're going to see all of this. So, aquí está mi sartén. Calentándose. The pork meat's over there. I could see what I'm doing a little bit. Ay, se cayeron los cuchillos. Válgame Dios. Okay, ándale. Recógelos. Creo que te están viendo todos. Ay, escogió el cuchillo primero y luego ya aguardó todo. Okay, vamos a abrir la carne. I don't think I was going to put this in the video, but might as well. Let's get to it. Might as well, right? I already started talking here. Meat goes in the pan. No se desperdicia aquí nada, ni un pedacito de carne, porque uno no está rico. <laughs> of course, my voiceovers are not going to be serious, porque Laurita could never be serious. Okay, so now we are drying my hands, porque si me lavo las manos, and then we are going to spread out the meat a little bit. That way it could cook evenly. And then here, I start peeling the potatoes super speed mode. Wouldn't that be great in real life? So I think I did about four or five potatoes. I also chop them up. So that's what you're gonna see. Steer the meat a little bit. Chop, chop, chop. Apúrate, Laurita, que te están esperando todos. Okay, and right here, you see me seasoning the meat a little bit. I didn't put too much seasoning just because what I was going to pour in there in a little bit um, was going to give it the flavor. I also added turmeric. I've been adding turmeric to all of my food. That's why you see the meat a little bit yellow. That's just the color of the turmeric. And if you want to Google what turmeric, um, all the benefits that turmeric has, go for it. You will be impressed. So I finished up cutting the potatoes and I threw them in the pan, mixed them up a little bit with the meat and covered it up. Now we're moving on to making some rice. Cada quien cocina su modo, so nobody be judging the way I make my rice. To each their own. Right here I'm just prepping my tomato sauce. I'm opening it up, that way it's ready for when I have to pour it. I'm pouring some oil, that way I could start frying my rice does anybody know why we fry the rice first like tostarlo a little bit like i know you have to toast it up a little bit and then you do the whole thing i mean i've never asked why and now i'm wondering so let me know why like what's the purpose Just stirring it up, making sure it's coated with oil, and apparently I needed more oil. 
so here I go again stirring it up making sure it's well coated so I can start frying I am checking up on the meat and potatoes. I was seeing if the potatoes were ready. That way I could start putting in the sauce. And I didn't even say what I was making. I'm making chile colorado. Yay! I haven't had chile colorado in a very long time. And the kids like this meal. So I was like, let's get it done. I had made the chile during the weekend. So I had it there. And I was like, okay, this is going to be an easy meal. I was so excited to make this meal just because I had already made the chile. I usually have to make everything the day of and obviously it's a lot more time consuming and it doesn't always work out so that's why I don't always make these type of meals but I already have the chile ready, yes! So I have put a little bit of water in there in the jar that way I can like take off most of whatever chile was left that was stuck on the jar and I was just mixing it in and mixing it in and now let's get back to the rice after I get my camera to stand right <laughs> I continue to steer this this rice kind of took a while to like get toasted I don't know if my um, thing was too low or not it doesn't it was like in the middle so it's just how it was cooking today And then I ended up adding more chile. I just felt like it needed more. And um, I left it there for a little bit. I went back to the rice. And I believe it was already pretty co uh, pretty toasted. So it was time to get it cooking. Like really cooking. This rice was like forever long today. I pour in some hot to water. Don't ask me how much because... Everything is just al tanteo. If you know, you know. And then I pour in the tomato sauce. I did a little bit more than half. And I put in some of the consomme, the, what do you call it? Chicken bouillon. El consomme de pollo. I pour it in there. I don't know if I already poured it or not. Oh my goodness. And I added more water, you see? I don't know how much I put. So, oh, there it is. There's the chicken bouillon. I don't like saying that. El, ca el consomme de pollo. I nomás le echo lo que sea. And then I stirred it in. No, pa' que agarre sabor el arrocito. getting a little bit so I could taste it to see if I like it and I guess I liked it because I was getting ready to cover it up um, if you see that I have foil paper right there I like to cover my lid because the lid is not um, part of that pan I guess those pans that I bought do not did not come with the lids I don't know but I put the foil paper on there that way it is a tight seal and nothing comes out of there and the rice gets cooked to perfection I leave it alone after I make sure that it's good to go I lower the temperature I leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes and go back to the meat and make sure to, to steer it it was pretty much ready but I always leave my meat and everything uh, cooking for extra time I pretty much just leave it on low and just so it could keep warm and make sure it's cooked 
to perfection as I like to say and at this time that's when the rice was ready I checked it I hadn't uh, opened it up until right now and you can see that it is good to go and I turned off the stove on that side took off the foil because there's no purpose for the foil anymore the rice is ready and palabasura foil and here I am checking up on the chile colorado it's pretty much ready stir it up a little bit more and turn it off and it's ready my food is ready I don't know what time I started cooking but you could see the time right there it was 3 36 and Alyssa had already gotten home and now I am serving some rice And serving some chile colorado to make my plate um, there was no beans to go with it but usually this plate has beans on it and that's what we're eating today and voila there's my plate for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day number two bye